Welcome back to another Python tutorial. This is going to be part two of our Pi game tic-tac-toe. In the first video, we drew the game board, and let's just go ahead and take a quick look to see what we have so far. Okay, and this is our tic-tac-toe board. So what we have so far is the nine different squares that we can click on, but right now if I click on them, they don't do anything. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is setting it up so that when I click on one of these squares, it draws something inside of the square. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to our code and get started on this. Okay, so just a quick run through of what we've done so far. At the very top here, I have to import Pygame to be able to use it. This line right here just makes sure that Pygame is running and gets it initialized. This right here is creating a window that we can draw stuff on. And these two numbers here, are your dimensions. This one right here changes the title of our window. This section of code right here is what we use to draw the different squares on the screen. And then down here is our main loop and the only event we have so far is that whenever the player clicks on the X it quits the game. Okay so let's go ahead and continue at this point. So we're gonna start by adding a new if statement. This one is gonna say if event dot type so this is a new type of event and this one is going to be equal to pygame dot mouse button and then up and all the letters are capital okay what this is doing is when it's looping through the different events it's looking for an event that is a mouse button up which you're going to use as the click so whenever the mouse button goes up after a click then we're going to do something and what we're going to do first is create a variable called POS for position. And this is going to be equal to pygame.mouse.get underscore and then POS for position. And what this is doing, every time that my mouse is clicked, it's going to store the position. So let's go ahead and test this real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'll just print out the position. All right, let's go ahead and run it. And I'll move my window off to the side. And every time I click, it uh, stores the position and prints it out onto the shell. All right, so good to know that's working. So let's go ahead and head back to the code. We'll go ahead and get rid of this line since we know our code is working. And the next thing we're going to do is create another if statement. This one is going to be inside of the mouse button up. So I'm going to put it right below here. And I'm going to do a couple different checks. So the first thing I'm going to do is say if, and then first. So remember this first represents our first rec rectangle. So I'm going to say if first dot collide point. And then inside the parentheses here, I'm checking to see if whatever I put inside of here collides with the rectangle. And what I want to be checking is the position of the mouse. So I'm going to put POS since that stands for the position of our mouse. So basically what it's asking is whenever I click, did that click happen inside of the first box? Okay, if that did happen, then the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and test it to make sure it's working. And I'm just going to print clicked in first. Alright, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, I'll move it off to the side and then when I click in this first box here, I see I have the message clicked in first. If I click on any of the other ones, nothing happens yet. Just when I click in the first one. Alright, let's go ahead and head back. So instead of printing out that message, what I'm going to do is actually draw a rectangle inside of this white rectangle. To do that, it's just like we did before, so I'm going to say pygame.draw.rect. And then after this, I'll have to put all the different things like color and dimension. All right, so to do that, remember the first one we have to put the surface, so that's the window or win is what we called it. The next part is going to be the color. I'm going to make this um, square red, so I'm going to do 255, 0, and 0. 
Okay, the next part I'm going to do is the starting x and y position. So our first rectangle starts at 25, 25. So to start it inside of that square or rectangle, what I'm going to do is put 50, comma 50. That'll be the starting x and the starting y position. And for the last one, our dimensions were 150 by 150. And I want to make it a little bit smaller than what I did before. So I'm going to put 100 by 100. Okay, and I just need to close that up. So now whenever I click inside of that first box, I should get a red rectangle. All right, and there we go. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of copy paste that a little bit until we get it able to click in each box and draw a red rectangle. And then we'll work on the other shape. So what I'm going to do is just copy this. And then I'm going to change this one to second for my second box. And this one to third. And then all we have to do, we don't have to change the first part, which is the surface or the color. All we have to change is the starting X and the starting Y position. So for the second one, it's going to be 225 and then 400. So each time, just like before, we're adding 175 to it to get the new starting X position and the new starting Y position. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we have it done for the first three boxes. So let's go ahead and see if it's working. And there we go. And right now, none of the other boxes working, but the first three are working. All right, let's go ahead and head back. So now what I can do is I can copy these three. And let's go ahead and set up the second row. So this is going to be fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, so this time around, the X position is good. I just need to change the Y position. And that's going to be 175 plus 50, so that'll be 225. And that'll be the same for these other two as well. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. So I got one, two, three, and then this one should be four, five, and six. All right, everything's good so far, so I just have to finish up with the last row. So once again, I'm going to copy these three. And this is going to be 400, 400, and 400. And then we'll change the names. Okay, and let's go ahead and test it out. So now we should have all nine boxes done. Let's just go ahead and make sure it's working. Okay, everything looks good. So we have all nine of our boxes. Whenever we click on them, click on them, they draw a red square. So the next thing we need to, need to work on is drawing the other shape. And what we're going to do is draw a circle. So the two different shapes are going to be a square for player one and a circle for player two. So let's go ahead and head back and see if we can work on that. Okay, so to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to add a line right down here. And we're going to draw a circle by saying pi game dot draw and then for the circle part instead of R E C T for rectangle we're just going to write the word circle okay it's very similar so the, for the first part it's going to be the surface so we're going to put win for the window the next part is still the color this time I want to make it green so I'm going to put 0 255 and 0 and then this part is a little bit different so the first part of it is going to be the center of the circle. So for our first one, we're going to make the center 100, 100. And then the next part is the radius, and we're going to make the radius 50. 
Okay, so when I click on this now, I have a square and a circle. So let's go ahead and do that for all of them, and then what we'll do eventually is separate it out so that they take turns. So it's not going to draw both at the same time, but player one will draw a square or a rectangle, and then player two, when they click, it'll draw the circle. All right, so let's just take that line, and we're going to paste it below each of these. All right, so now looking at the circle, and I'll just put a space between them so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so for my second circle, I'm going to be changing this starting position to 275. And this one is going to be 450. So once again, it's just adding 175. All right, and then we'll take this one. Okay, so now for the fourth one, it's going to go back to 100. This time for the Y position, it's going to be 275. I'll copy this one. And then one more time for the sixth. Okay, so for my fifth one, the X position is going to be 275. And for the sixth one, it's going to be 450. So we'll take that one. And there's three more to go. Okay, so now the Y position for my seventh one is going to be 450. The X is going back to 100. For my eighth one, it's going to be 275. And then for my ninth one, it's going to be 450. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so everything looks good. So it's drawing the square and the circle. And the next thing we need to do is figure out a way to separate it out so that when one player clicks, it'll be a square. And then when the next click happens, it's going to turn into a circle. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next video. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.